Hello and welcome to Art Studio Nagoya. In today's video, I want to show you how to load 220 film, 220 film. Uh, I think there is no uh, any film that is not expired of uh, 220. Uh, mine is absolutely expired. If you can see it, like a Belvia 100 expired in 2008, I think. Uh, so it's like 10 years expire. So uh, I want to show you how to load uh, this film in uh, Penta 67. So you get an example of what you have to do. I guess like every camera is gonna be different, but this can give you an idea. If you see here, you can already see it says 120 because it's already prepared for 120. So the first thing you have to do is you open the camera here and this plate, it says 120 here with an arrow this direction and 220 with an arrow that direction. You need to move this one that is gonna adjust the pressure that uh, this plate is gonna do against the film. That's the first step you gotta do before loading. Now you see it says here 220. But it's very important, and I did this mistake before, uh, you gotta take care of this one. This is gonna help your counter uh, of photos. Otherwise, it's gonna think that you are loading like just 10 photos, and it's gonna let you rewind after that. So I use a 10, 10 yen coin and change to 220, okay? So now the counter knows that you have um, a, a film that is gonna take 20 exposures. Okay, after that, you just go normal. You open your film, you put it in your spools, let's try to do it. it actually, it's not so easy to do uh, in front of the camera. Now well, let's try, let's go, let's go for it. So you open it, the first time I see this film inside, I guess it's similar to the Del app. So if you notice, it's thicker. It feels thicker than the 120. Basically, but I think the, the size of the spool is basically the same. So, good thing of uh, Fujifilm, easy to take this away. Okay, so you got it. I hold it pretty well. Try to do this in a darker place. I have to do it with a, a little bit of light here because we were doing a video. But the darker, the better to do this uh, to avoid any kind of leaks. So, you're gonna put this one here. That then comes the tricky part. You have to try to, uh, let, me, let me get the camera closer, maybe you can see. You have to fit here, which is not easy task. So you need to move this around a little bit till you get it inside. Let me see. Actually, for me, this is the most difficult part. It takes a while. That's why I'm saying like, try to do this in, in a darker place, if it's possible. And let me see if it's getting there now. Can you see it's so difficult to match? So basically, I'm gonna take it away. You gotta match this shape with the one inside. And then you can close. Oh, I think I got it. Okay, very good. Then you close this part here. Okay. You should be holding the film. I mean, this is a spire film, so I don't care so much. But you should be holding the film all the time. So when you can turn this and put it inside, you're good to go. Now, next step. You stretch this one. And I hold it always here, so I keep the tension here. Now, this can be released, but the tension is still there. Now, I place the other, the spool in the position that you can see the this kind of entrance here for the film. Okay, put it in here. Okay. Try to uh, put it as much as possible and start to pull, help the film a little bit at the beginning. There you go. Till you see an arrow, it's supposed to have an arrow. It will say it's 220 here. Okay, this is the arrow. Usually, you're gonna stop here, okay? You're gonna stop here. Yeah, maybe you cannot see it's too far. It says 120, but you're gonna go to this other one, okay? And then, you're gonna close your camera. Okay, you close the camera, let's see. Okay, very good, everything's good. And then, change position. You advance till you cannot advance more. Ah, okay, there you go. You're good to go now, okay? You're good to set, to set your, your film. So, well, it was pretty heavy to do that. Okay, 
So this is how you uh, load like 220 film. Okay, I'm planning to do another video uh, showing you the results compared with um, uh, a Belvia 100 in a camera that have a very good light meter and try to use the same uh, exposures in some photos to give some examples. But uh, this video is just how to load uh, your film to your 220 film. I hope you like it. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I, I will keep making videos little by little so in more things I know about photography to try to share with the community. And see you in the next video. Please keep taking photos. Bye.